right, today is Saturday, November 4th, 2023. Uh, you got to forgive me. I've been under the weather for, for the past week here pretty bad. But luckily, it came around today. Uh, today's a big day for the 60. We got the convertible top installed. I didn't do any recording of the process, unfortunately, because uh, I wasn't the one doing the work. Uh, I had somebody come out and do it. We'll get into that in a minute, but I, I didn't want to be recording him. Some people don't like that. Some people don't want to give away their trade secrets and stuff like that. Uh, honestly, I didn't even ask the guy if he wanted to be recorded. I just, it was go time from the, from the time I picked him up. Anyways, uh, man, the journey with this convertible top. Uh, it started <clears throat> maybe about a year ago uh, when I started looking into what kind of convertible top I wanted and I knew I wanted vinyl uh, opposed to most people they they prefer canvas I prefer vinyl uh, durability I mean you wash it you dry it and it's done you don't got to worry about nothing uh, so I wanted the medium green uh, Hearts Pinpoint Vinyl, I believe it's 64, don't get me lying, I don't know the part number, but it's medium green. Anyway, so when I went to go order it, I was told that it was on back order. It was on back order for over three years, and there was no telling when it was going to come back. So then I waited, I waited, and then they started saying that it wasn't going to come back, it was done. The only way you're going to find it is if you find old stock. And good luck finding that. So I was kind of bummed out about that. So I, I opted for a forest green canvas top, which is also getting more rare, more harder to find. So I ordered a canvas top, forest green, uh, pre-made. <coughs> and uh, one day at work, you know, once I had ordered the canvas top, the, the whole top idea, uh, you know, that was out of my mind. Like I'm on to whatever I need to buy next. You know, what's, what's the next step? or what I gotta work on next, like the top is, is put away. One day at work, I was, I was sitting, uh, sitting there and it just dawned on me one day, out of the blue, I wonder if that medium green ever came back in stock. This was like probably six months after I ordered the, the green canvas. <clears throat> out of the blue, this random thought popped in my head. So on break time that day at work, I went outside to the car and uh, checking my emails, checking my messages and stuff. And I had an email from uh, the, the company based out of New York, ARO2000, uh, saying that the medium green was back in stock. I was like, wow, what a coincidence. I had just, it just randomly popped in my head that day. I go outside, check my email, and I have an email saying the color's back in stock. So it was like an act of God. So I said, man, okay, I wanna order it. Uh, so I ordered it, ordered the top with the pads and a plastic back window. I like the plastic back windows. Kind of kind of old fashioned, I guess. I like what I like. I didn't I don't like the gangster windows. No, nothing nothing wrong with that. I just personal preference. I don't like them. <clears throat> so I ordered the top. Then I was stuck with the uh, with the with the forest green canvas. That's 5960 GM car only. 2 years. And uh you know that's a hard sell man being that it's green I mean, you got to find somebody building a green car that wants that dark green canvas top so I had it on eBay for months finally I got a buyer out of it and the guy that bought it actually I did some business with him over 15 years ago small world he ended up buying it he has a green 60 he's working on so it worked out good for him I got some money back we're good uh, fast forward I really, really dreaded taking this car to any upholstery shop, any shop period, uh, to get the top installed, mainly because I just don't trust people. Uh, they might drop something on it, it might, you know, who knows. So I was on Instagram, <coughs> excuse me, like I said, I'm under the weather. So on Instagram, if somebody had tagged me in this guy's post, it, it does mobile convertible top installations. And uh, so I hit him up. Sent him a message. We talked. We hammered out the details. He said he had an opening. He's got a waiting list. So uh, I sent him a deposit uh, three months ago. Uh, he flies in, does the job, flies out same day. And uh, so I sent him the deposit. This was in August. This was before the car was painted. 
So now I needed to get the car painted. Okay, that was the first obstacle. Get the car painted. Then in order for him to install the top, it's got to be on the frame. You got to take the, the reinforcements I had on. Those got to be off. So now it's on the frame. Okay, that's another step. And then uh, I had to order the, the top cylinders, the top pump, and he wants the top to be able to latch uh, on its own power. So I had to order that stuff, had to get that working. So it's been kind of a chain of, event, chain of events here to, to work up to this, to this point. And uh, man, then I got sick, uh, you know, early on in the week, bad fever and all that. And I, and I was like, man, this, I can't miss this debt. You know, I can't miss this deadline. I can't have this guy reschedule. He's a busy guy. So started hammering vitamins and stuff like that. Got over the fever and stuff. And uh, so here we are. Uh, he flew in this morning. This, this guy, I'm gonna attach his uh, Instagram handle uh, I don't think he needs any more work, but maybe if somebody's looking and, and y'all hammer it out or whatever, but he's a really busy guy. Uh, man, this guy <coughs> is all work and no play. Uh, all business, man. Very professional, master at his craft. Just, I'm over the top with the quality of work that he did and the amount of time that he did it. I picked him up from the airport at 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, we made it back here about 10.30. By the time we got to work on it, it was closer to 11. We sat down for 20 minutes and ate lunch. Four o'clock, he was done with the install. I really didn't do anything but hand him some tools. I supplied the air compressor, the electricity, and the building. And he did everything. He brought his own tools, brought his own equipment, brought his own supplies. Can't say enough about the guy. Uh, I'll gladly pay him again. Just the peace of mind uh, that the car don't have to go anywhere. He comes and does it at the house. He's got pictures of all his work. A lot of 5960s, 63, 64, a lot of Impalas. And, uh, you know, man, it's just, I'm really happy. So that being said, I'm going to take you around, <coughs> show you what he did. So like I say, I opted for the plastic window, but I wanted the piece across the bottom to mimic a glass window. So the, the good folks at ARO 2000, it's a pre-made top, they put it together for me. Comes with everything, comes with the pads, comes with this, comes with the stainless. Oh, and then we had to put the snap trim on, I forgot about that. And then I had also ordered a well liner, black well liner. Man, no wrinkles here. Of course, this is this hasn't even been in the sun, you know. I'm gonna push it out tomorrow in the sun, hopefully, and let it let it flex, you know, a little bit. Let it let it relax, I should say. But uh, super tight, super tight. Like I say, this is all gonna flex out in the sun. I'm not I'm not worried a bit about that. Across the front looks great. <coughs> so the kit, the you know, when you buy the top from them people, it comes with everything you need to do the install. It comes with the this piece here, you have to make that. It comes with the vinyl and the little tubing, and then it comes with the pads, it comes with the top, the back window, and the zipper. Uh, you gotta supply the glue, the tack strips, and the staples. But that's pretty much all it was. I've never seen a top installed, you know, in person like that. Right now it's latched. It's, it's really tight to latch. He said give it a couple days. It'll it'll kind of settle in, especially in the sun. But, uh, man, phenomenal job. I just can't say enough. Super excited about it. This is a milestone for the car. Uh, I've kind of been waiting for this so that I can proceed. could put the antennas on now. Uh, I know somebody had mentioned, like, how am I going to west hand and buff the car with the top on? I mean, you can easily mask it. You know, it's vinyl on top of that. Just mask it from here up. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, I'm just getting over whatever I had. So everything worked out great. Everything worked out real good. I love that it has a little bit of overhang here. Some, some tops you see, they go way high. You can see all the weather strip and all that. Just an awesome job. And I'm loving the color, the medium green. That's, that's what I wanted originally, like I said previously. I was gonna settle for that forest green, but I'm so glad that 
I was able to get this color. So just wanted to update real real quick here. I like I say I wish I would have recorded, but I wish I were recorded, but you know, some people they don't they don't get down like that. So, anyways, next up for the car, I'm gonna finish wet sand and buffing these spots. I hadn't touched it all week, like I said, I've been sick. Quarter glass can go in, door can go on, hang all the glass, line it all up, throw the windshield on. I got new windshield, new rubber, and just just go at it with the assembly. All the side molding can go on once it's buffed, back bumper can go on, antennas can go on. And we're we're cruising along here. We're cruising along. Super excited. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Uh should have another video out in a week. We didn't even touch Bobby's car today. Bobby didn't even show up. Bobby didn't even show up. Bobby owes lunch. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this update. Y'all stay tuned for more work. Thanks for watching.